Hey everybody, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Let's explore the fiery wreckage, because there's monsters here, uh, apparently. At least Irving said as much. Hmm. Um. Kinda looks familiar. The color and the... Hmm. That... Nah. Nah. Actually, I'll just tell you guys right now, this is actually the wreckage from the uh, Heim Del Grazo. Um, now, to actually get through this part, mini part, I should say, there's all these other computers around here that we have to turn on. Um, yeah, console panel, we'll just start it up. Yeah, there's like, I think, four or five of these around somewhere we have to turn on, so we'll uh, get bleh, to that. Also, this chest for the red jacket, a new armor upgrade for Ashley there. Oh, yeah, 25 points in defense, can't go wrong with that. Okay, and then there's more stuff way on the other side there that you can kind of see the other wall over there. We'll head, head over there, uh, shortly. It's crazy how the Himdo Dazo landed all the way here, because, what, when we got to it, it was way over in, um, what, the Soji region, I believe? So, it, uh, kind of fell quite a ways from there all the way over here. But I guess you'll have that. Um, there's a dead end right there that was pointless. I'm glad I showed that, that was <laughs> totally worth it and everything. Um, let's go up over here, because there's a grappling thingy. I thought I saw a grappling thingy. Oh, I know, it, it's over here. I forgot. Uh, yep, right over there. And actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. Because there's a special thing over there that I want to do right now, actually. Also, use the earthquake there. All these um, doors were sealed off, so yeah, earthquake will get them open. So, yeah, should have mentioned so sooner. Oh? Oh, 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 oh. This kinda looks familiar. Okay, so like before anything, um, bring Tim into your party. Absolutely bring in Tim. Now this battle, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, there's, a, there's also a battle here, spoilers, whatever. Um, I'm gonna cheese a little bit here, because uh, otherwise it's actually pretty damn difficult. Uh, but yeah, for just have turn undead, because, well, you'll see why. Yeah, that's sword did look familiar, but who had it? Oh, it's his sword. Oh, I wonder, oh, I wonder who this could possibly belong to. Who? No, I, I already know who it is. It's Vince Feld! But not quite the same Vince Feld as before, because this is the remaining Poltergeist Ghost. Now, he can be really, really hard, because he will use uh, Incur My Wrath, which is a lot more powerful than it was when we fought him before. So, um, have Ashley use Lucky Card here first, you definitely want to here. Have Brad defend, and have Tim use Turn Undead, because Ghost being, well, obviously a ghost, he's weak to Turn Undead, so you can just one-shot him with this. Otherwise, yeah, he's really damn powerful. So I'm totally cool with just doing this because, yeah, I don't, I don't even mind at all. Unfortunately, yeah, the music didn't really play out that long. I probably should have, but oh well, whatever. But yeah, uh, pretty easy, uh, optional battle there. Get a full carrot, so that's cool. So yeah, that was uh, that was Ghost. <laughs> Shortest boss battle ever. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, he did. Can we? Oh, we can't take it just to repair? This, that Mad Mountains would be a really damn good sword to have. I mean, Ashley could use it, could you imagine? That'd be badass as all hell. But alas, yeah, it kinda just sits there now, but eh, whatever. So yeah, that's that. just a cool little optional boss fight there. Um, let's get back to Tim for his Mystic Cloak here real quick. There we go. And let's go in here. There's a chest over here I could grab. Well, I can grab now, actually. I couldn't before. Another console panel right here, we'll turn that on. There's a big center room also, but I'll do that last because that's where plot takes place, so, yeah. Um, oh, there are, actually are battles in here? For some reason I thought there weren't, but I guess that's only outside that there aren't battles. Um, I might as well fight one, actually, I will here in a sec. Um, actually, yeah, a sec being right now, just, just for the hell of it, just to fill out my bestiary. Even though, as I said last, said last episode, I don't care about filling out the best diary, so, like, whatever. So, who do we have around here to fight, even? Um, giant walruses. 
Okay. I'll take it. Not sure what they're weak to, actually. They're just big old wall resistances. Though the weak to being stabbed, as most things usually are. Why not use submerge? I don't think I wanted to use that. Pfft, works all the same to me, I don't care. Okay. Oh, they drop mini carrots. Nice. Not that I need those, because I can just buy them, so it's not even a big deal. Okay, well anyway, let's go ahead and grab this chest down here. Well, the obelisk gun, which would be good for Ashley had I not gotten the shooting star a while ago. So, uh, yeah, I'll just sell that later. It'll sell for some good change, actually. Not that I need money, because, yeah, I'm freaking loaded. But, it's there all the same. Though, in most cases, you actually would equip that, because you normally wouldn't do the optional bosses as early as I did. Okay, I'm um, still on the mist cloak. Do that. But yeah, I wonder why Irving wanted us to come here so badly. I mean, they said there was monsters attacking Holomets, but like, they seem fine. Oh, by the way, actually, um, I went ahead and saved off camera. I went ran back over to Holomets just to do a hard save, just so you know. If, yeah. Anyway, um, there's those last two panels and the big one. Also, this one, the big one, won't turn on until you turn on the other four. So, yeah. If you had wreckage from the Hedon we would have found that soon enough anyway, so... Oh! Um, that wouldn't be a terrible idea, actually. Could give us some useful inf info on the Kiwiper belt. Yeah, I mean, might as well. Yeah, I'd say give it a try, why not? I'm with Lota on this one. Yeah, maybe find out, like, what the Kuiper belt is made out of, or how it even got here, or... better way to stop it, or something, anything, maybe, will work? Oh? What? Why so serious? Oh, oh, okay. Funding sources. Okay. I mean, it makes sense a company like that needs money. It would have been a dick move to cliffhang right here, potentially, but. <laughs> well, for one thing, it would have been at the end of the last episode, but whatever. Because it'd be way too short to do right now. Whose name is on there? Um. Beg pardon? Why in the blue frick is Irving's name on here helping Odessa? Somebody has some explaining to do. Um, okay, what's... Oh. I was about to say what's going on, but that's what's going on. Oh, okay, well that's handy at least. Okay, well that was fun. And pretty much led to a whole lot of nothing, essentially. Kind of just filling time. Hmm, preparing the final plan without telling us? Okay, so how we how do we do that? So going through that part was entirely pointless, even though we had to go through there anyway. Awful noble of you, what you're doing. Travel to the heart of Philgaia. Center of the world. We could have gone there earlier, actually. Just didn't really choose to. But now we will. Okay, now we have uh, no boss, so we're kind of freelancers. Yeah, she has a point. <laughs> yeah, that made sense. The last battle will be our last. Duh. No, well, hey, sounds like a plan. Nothing wrong with that. Give us some time to, like, you know, regroup, get your thoughts collected. Yeah, good plan. Good plan. This guy is very purple. Kind of really ominous. 
And why are we here? Where even is this? Is this by the chateau? I have no idea, actually. Like, seriously, I, I don't know where, what part of the world that actually is. Meh, oh well. Oh, hey, Billy. What's going on? Yeah, you do have some pretty good allies with you. Yeah, I don't think he would mind. Um, he hasn't seen you in years. So yeah, I don't. Th I think he's cool with it. Just like Brad was all those years ago. Didn't you just say that? Hi, Crassus. You're very cute. Yeah, it's true. Judge kind of like the whole thing with Spirias and Tales of Hearts are, even though people can be so far apart, they're always together. <laughs> Great game, by the way. I want to LP it really, really badly. If I had, if I ever get a means of recording Vita gameplay, then I will happily LP that game. It is fan freaking tastic. I'm actually almost done beating it. Um, I'm in uh, Gardenia right now, which is the last part of the game. Yeah, I'd say saving the world would be a good way to thank your best friend. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, hey, we're back at, um... Uh, Soljade region. He to fix my sock. Because, you know, priorities. Eh. Stupid sock. Anyway. Um, how old is Terry, by the way? I just randomly thought of that. I would guess he's Loka's age, as they're in the same class together, and Loka is 14, right? Yes. The uh, Cattell test. That sounds fancy. Ooh, the elite class. Well, Terry does kind of seem like an elite scrub, so that's probably a good fit for him, really. <laughs> Nerd. I'm gonna steal your lunch money. Did bullies actually do that back in the day, or is that just a stereotype? Because you always say, like, give me your lunch money. But, like, no one does that anymore, I don't think. Was that just a thing in, like, the... <coughs> Excuse me. Was that just a thing in, like, the 40s and 50s and 60s or whatever, that bullies actually did that? I mean, they portray, like, on TV, like, the old sitcoms and whatever, but... Yeah, like, I don't know. Man, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. You're like the best sorceress out there, pretty much. I mean, you have all the high-level spells. Your sorcery is over. It's like top-notch. You could kick Terry's ass no problem. Um, that'll have to wait until later, because we kind of have to save the world. Oh pff, no, young love. <laughs> I think actually a lot of people would. So shut your dick. <laughs> How sweet of you, Loka. Huh, yeah, Terry is a smart kid, huh. Oh my god, what? Oh, hey, my phone bizzed. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Oh, she won't mind that. What, the observatory? That room is so small. Like, that'll take you all, like, five minutes to clean that. Oh, yeah, you're back to Baskar. This may or may not be a rather long-ish episode with the plot we're doing today. I can, I, I can only imagine how that would feel, looking at the sky and just seeing, like, nothing. Like, it, it, yeah, it's one thing, like, for us to look at the sky and be a totally clear night, no moon or whatever, but their sky isn't even there. Like, that's trippy. That's, like, that's freaky, even. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Aw, how sweet. 
Special Secret Sun Ball. That sounds like an item for Yuffie in Final Fantasy VII. So she had the, the Super Ball. Wait, no, that wasn't a weapon for her, was it? No. <coughs> that was a normal item that just did damage to enemies. I don't know why I thought of that. I need to LP Final Fantasy VII. I will at some point. I don't know when, but I most certainly will. That game is too good not for me to LP. Because I'm like the classic RPG guru, pretty much. I ha kind of have to LP that game, like, seriously. You're using lots of words in parentheses. Oh, that's not parentheses, apostrophes. I, I, I can grammar. <laughs> I can punctuation, guys, just, just so you know. Also, how'd you get up there? I just, just random? This scene right here, by the way, is adorable. I'll just let it play out. Also, they're back in, um, Mary, I believe, and they're just on top of the gate for some reason. Uh, Tony kind of doesn't really have any schooling to work off of, so, like, of course he's not really that educated. Yeah, it, it must be, just she's the last Crimson Noble left. Mm, can't go wrong with that. Friends are pretty cool. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, Tony. Well, what? I don't think Crimson Nobles are exactly vampires. Although they kind of are. I don't know if they suck blood. <laughs> That's very noble of him to do that for someone his age. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow I'll, I will, I'll become middle-aged. I don't know that that's how it works, but whatever. Aww. Marvel has a friend. And last but certainly not least. You probably should. You haven't seen Marina in a while. <laughs> she said, but. <laughs> he said, but. <laughs> I'm so mature. I mean, this is the same guy who giggles constantly while playing poo in World in Words with Friends, so, like, what more do you need to know? Well, put your words into action. They always say action speaks louder than words. Dem pixels, though. <laughs> They're so pixelated. This game would do really, really well for full-on, like, remaster, like, full, like, 3D sprites and all that. Although, they kind of technically are right there. But, yeah, like, full 3D model, like, Alter Code F, something like that. That would be sweet as hell. Yeah, they, like, redid the music. Yeah, they did the entire soundtrack over again. Um, polished everything up real nice. Um, that would be fantastic. And that would probably sell very, very well. I'm trying to fix my headset cord here real quick. It was kind of tangled with my uh, controller wire. I'm using my um, new PS3 controller with plugged in with my uh, on, plugged in with a USB and my DS3 tool. Works a lot better than my old controller. So can't go wrong with that. <coughs> Excuse me. That is true. He said the whole time he wanted to fight with us, and now he. Flying solo. On what time of day is it? It's probably very early in the morning. Although they did say they meet here the same time tomorrow. Well, yesterday. So, like, meh. Probably is fairly early. Sure, it looks like it anyway. Yeah, we're already at 20 minutes, but yeah, I'm gonna go for some more length today. Although I will say, next episode, we'll have some good stuff. Because we can get Guardian Lords! That's gonna be fun.
those are really damn good. And yeah, now we can actually get them because we're done with the fiery wreckage. I wanted to earlier in the game, but I didn't know when the actual cutoff was to get them, so like, whatever. How's it gone that much farther since yesterday? Isn't there always danger wherever we go, Loka? It sure looks like it. Now, I will say right now, I have a very cool way of ending the episode. <clears throat> because now at this point, actually, um, we have new world map music. Um, our third world map theme, actually. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show that off for a little bit, and then I'll cut the episode. And yeah, I will say that future episodes won't be quite this long, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna... Also, notice how things are a lot darker now, actually. That's not the emulator, that's just the game itself, actually. Like, now, literally, things are darker because the encroaching sky is much, much worse. So, cool detail, actually. I like it. Um, real quick, I'm gonna try to buy some stuff here, actually. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Just because, I just... I didn't... Did I need to? Of course not. Did I want to? Meh. <laughs> Are they not quiet time? Could you imagine this song being like a full remastered version of it in a PS3 or PS4 version of this game? It'll never happen, but I mean, whatever. But yeah, I wanted to sit back and relax, let you guys enjoy that. And then we'll start hunting down some Guardian Lords next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. This has been iHeart Movie signing off, guys. Have a great day and thanks for watching.